So on the 29th, Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion, uh, they teamed up to do the Savage remix. And I actually heard it um, the other day. And I was definitely curious what Beyonce was going to do on that song. I was very curious, but I heard it. I said, okay. I said, you know, I mean, Beyonce always do her thing. You know, Beyonce is kind of just solidified. Uh, Beyonce got a fan base that's just real, real cultish fan base. And I remember, you know, outside of one of her concerts, I was around there, Reliant, well, it was called Reliant, now it's called R NRG Stadium. And I mean, she had people from all walks of life and she sells out NRG like this. It ain't nothing for her to sell it out. She can do multiple shows and sell it out each and every time. It don't matter if you get the $1,500 seats, that'll sell out. So, you know, Beyonce is just definitely solidified, but you know, Beyonce is a Houston a native just as much as Megan the stallion is a Houston native as well. So they, they just dropped the, the record and that's Beyonce style. Anyway, she would drop a whole album and don't even, you know, do no promotion. And I think when Beyonce started doing that, I remember she said that she always hated uh, doing promo for records, like going to radio, talking to this and talking to doing interviews. But when she had dropped that album that she had dropped that first time, she didn't do no promo on that. And ever since then, that's how she'd been dropping her record. So, they did this remix and dropped it. Now they said the proceeds, what they were using it for was for an organization here in, in the area called bread of life. And it, it was meant to help feed people uh, during the uh, COVID-19 outbreak, because you have 30 million people right now that's unemployed and there are people going to places like bread of life, looking for food. And it, it's sad, you know, and we supposedly supposed to be the richest nation in the world, supposedly, and I, I'll say air quotes. Um, but yet you got the people looking for food um, and, and it should not be. But, you know, as we have reported on our news channel about possible meat shortages coming. So, you know, it's, it's getting kind of interesting. Uh, that's for sure in 2020. Now, you know, Megan Thee Stallion originally had dropped, you know, the sugar record. Um, and I heard the whole thing and I didn't know that Savage was going to blow up like that. I mean, I know the other songs you were promoting captain hook. I can sell that one blowing up, but Savage, I just thought that was real interesting that people, you know, jumped on that, but maybe because she did a little dance with it. And, you know, a lot of times dance songs take off pretty good. Um, now they was talking about also one part of the remix that Beyonce had mentioned um, that she was talking about, uh, hips, tick tock when I dance only that demon time, she might start an only fans. And so people thinking, is she going to jump on only fans? Anybody know about that website? Basically, um, that website was being used by a lot of people, um, within either the, uh, adult entertainment industry or just people who wants to do things like that. They'll pay a fee and then, uh, people can see whatever they want to see. Uh, but now you having celebrities get on there. You having people drop music on there. Um, people are starting to make a lot of money on that website. So it's been a major marketing tool uh, for sure. Now the uh, OnlyFans company came by and said, yes, they will welcome Beyonce. They would love her to come over there. Of course you would. I mean, even her mentioning your website is the best marketing ever for anybody. Shoot. I wish Beyonce mentioned our channel. I would love that. <laughs> That's for sure. But, um, you know, so they said the Savage remix skyrocketed. It's the number one in Apple music and iTunes just hours after this release. And, um, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, of course, she's very happy that she has got a feature, uh, from Beyonce, but you know, you know, Megan was being talked about, uh, maybe a month or two ago, uh, when she was having issues with her label, she wanted to get out of her contract. You know, she got into a management deal with rock nation. And then of course you saw the pictures with, her and Beyonce together. Um, so I guess maybe that relationship with Jay Z kind of maybe made that happen a little bit. I don't know, but, um, you know, I heard the song, the songs, you know, pretty good. You know, there's people that be out there dancing too. I know some people are like, man, Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion dropped this song and I can't even go out. No, you can't go out. They, they don't have no nightclubs open in Texas for you to go to right now. Now, maybe in a few weeks, we don't know, but then I've been hearing, you know, speaking about, you know, the coronavirus, that more people are getting it all of a sudden now in Texas, since they starting to open things back up, we'll see. I don't know the exact location, but he just said the state in general, but they said that if things start going up, they're going to shut things back down. But, uh, definitely the bars and the nightclubs are not going to be the first thing they're looking to open. 
But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation uh, with Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion teaming up. Yes, I did hear about, um, you know, Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat. It jumped on that Say So uh, remix. Um, so everybody kind of collaborating with each other right now. But it's good that Megan and Beyonce is teamed up to uh, help out the people. Because a lot of people need help definitely with some food right now.